hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you for always stopping by to watch my videos in today's video i'll be sharing with you how to make coconut chin chin this is a very simple recipe and it's so yummy crunchy and the coconut flakes just add extra crunchiness so here are the ingredients guys in this bowl i have butter baking powder two eggs salt nutmeg coconut milk sugar coconut flakes you can use fresh coconut if you want and i have all purpose flour now all the measurements will be in the description box so please check it out so i start off by mixing up the dry ingredients add the salt the baking powder nutmeg Give it a mix. Trust you all are doing well. Please, if it's your first time here, don't forget to subscribe and support me. Thank you for watching and always coming back. So I add up the, I add in the butter give it a mix and I had to go in with my hands to mix it properly then I come in with the coconut flakes like I said you can use fresh coconut it's still the same it still give it that crunchiness yeah so in another bowl I mix the wet ingredients the egg coconut milk and just um add the sugar into it and mix it up so the sugar can dissolve well then i create a hole in the middle of the floor adding the wet ingredients and just mix it up now the spatula could not mix it well and I just made sure it came together and then I put it into the machine to into the mixer to mix it well for me or you can do it with your hands it's still fine so after mixing you can keep it to rest for 30 minutes and after that you just section it the way you want it so you spread the floor on the board and roll it out And you start cutting to your desired size and shape it's really easy you go in with how big or how small you want it you just i'm using my my pizza dough cutter you can use a knife or anything that you feel is this is the best one for me because i have it you can use knife as well so yeah, cut it to your desired shape and size.
so I just put it in this tray and continue so you want to make sure your oil is hot before adding in the chin chin otherwise it's going to soak in oil which is not good at all and once you add it you have to separate it with your with your spoon so yeah when it's golden brown take it out this changing is so crunchy it's so yummy and guys it's really this simple and i also um made another shape which is up to you to do how many shapes you want so yeah please fry it on medium high you don't want to um you don't want your changing to just get brown without getting done so i use this sieve to take out the egg the crumbs in in the in the oil so it, the oil is clean before you continue frying and like i said i had to make another shape This is a little bit longer. And it's even easier if you have the machine to cut your to cut your changing really easy and precise um sizes. Yeah. So I fried the other one as well and yeah guys that is it for this crunchy changing. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Thank you for always coming back to watch my video. Please don't forget to subscribe and support me. So with this changing, look at how it came out like you have a lot of chinching i use four cups of flour and if you want less you can use less flour and this is so yummy now when it's cold you can save it in an airtight container and it will be for as long as you want it and thank you all so so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next one bye